Holy cow, that trailer. I know. I know. Excuse me while I drink my, my Disney coffee. <laughs> this that, is very disney That trailer, that uh, poster, that whole panel. Okay. Um, Let's start before we even get to the trailer. Just want to make well, no, no, no. Let's start with the trailer. Let's. I think. I think. Listen, that's what people are clicking for. Okay, let's, fine. Let's fine. give the let's people what the they trailer. want. Wait. So, okay. Can I tell you my first two thoughts the first time they played it? Because they played it twice. Okay. Yes. Which they did last time, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Before? Yeah. I love that they do that. Yeah. First, immediate, immediate thoughts was that opening is the opening from the first trailer. Instead of Finn sitting up, it was her putting the hand down, but it was like the same musical cue and everything. Oh, oh, like I something that jumping out and shocking. Yep. And it's the same musical cue. If you listen to it, it's like the same, it's the same thing. Well, I, I was going to say, immediately. It, it looked, it was like also the visual equivalent of how in the first trailer or one of the trailers for The Force Awakens, it looks like space and then like the door opens up and exactly. you realize it's not space. And here's the same thing. You see all these stars. It turns out they're just like bits of rocks, which I loved. Right. Um, Second so, yeah. immediate thought from the first time I saw it, because, you know, there's a lot going on in a teaser trailer, right. is Captain Phasma's not dead. Oh, yeah. Was that really even a question? Oh, I mean, we kind of knew it, but like... We knew it because it just you didn't threw her see a body. Like you're not right. gonna cast but somebody like, like her to just like, kill her off like that. That is just the confirmation because you yes. saw her walking. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, not big revelation, more just like a confirmation. She's not right. dead. I was like, oh, there she is. Okay, great. We see Finn. We see Poe. We, we see, see a Leia. Kylo Ren helmet. Was that Kylo's? Oh, I thought yeah. that was Vader's. Kylo. What happens is when you see uh, General Leia from behind, you hear her clip um, from Episode Four. And then when you see that crushed helmet, you hear Obi-Wan talking about Darth Vader falling to the dark side. So I thought that was like his helmet from Starkiller Base that just got, I guess, ruined at some point. Or or no, not Starkiller Base. I'm sorry. It was on that ship. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was Maybe Vader's right. Maybe helmet. Right. Um, but, really you know, we do it. see Kylo Ren without a mask. I mean, without a mask. we saw that he in the last movie. He doesn't care anymore, but, man. He's just yeah. like, this is me. This is me and all my evilness. Which is great because, yeah. like, the, the mask was a great, I think, uh, bridge to the new trilogy. But mm -hmm. you know, you wanna, we wanna see his face. We wanna well, see acting. Well, what I think is interesting about him, uh, I don't want to go off into this too much, but just the fact of like, I think, obviously Vader being Vader and what happened to him, there's a reason why he was wearing the mask, and I feel like right. Kylo Ren wears it more to be more intimidating. But because of everything that's happened to him. I mean, we know he's still on that brink of, like, the light side pulling him. So I think it's interesting. Uh, do you really think so? I think that's gone. I think I think the second he, spoiler alert, Force Awakens, I think the second he kills Han Solo, like, that's it. He's now I don't know fully dark it. side. So why would they Why would they even talk about it? In the, I don't know. I think there's going to be, my, my theory is by the end of this trilogy, there's going to be some sort of redemption thing. Kind of like Vader. Peter okay, maybe, the right. maybe. But anyway, anyway, totally go off on a tangent. What was with the scene? There was like a couple of things. There was a shot when he asks her, after she says, I see the light and I see darkness. Right. There's like a weird shot of like cliffs. Oh, oh, like the, oh, you're thinking what the thing with the, uh, looks like a bunch of tree roots. Is that what that was? Yeah. And I could have okay. sworn I heard Yoda in the very slight uh, I didn't of hear any of the stuff that you're talking I about. I think we're going to start to see uh, some places, locations, and bits of, like, the, the original, mm -hmm. like, the origins of the Jedi. Like, that's what... Because you got that very, like, old-school-looking Jedi logo that she was, like, wiping off of a book yeah. or something. Yeah. So I think part of her journey is going to be uh, doing that. And mm. then... Do, do, do. Those cool ships that are going across the... That, like, have their... To have a little like stick sticking into the ground. Yeah, and the red, red stuff red. is coming yeah. out of it. I was like, what is this? Um, I think well, the biggest takeaway that I'm really excited for that wasn't in the trailer, I was sort of seen in the trailer, but is uh, something that was very much uh, put across by Ryan Johnson when he was talking about it was, you know, at the end of A Force Awakens, Starkiller Base is destroyed. The, the First right. Order loses its super weapon. Yet at the same time, the Senate is gone that whole planet's gone right. so the um you know the the republic is in shambles so it is kind of like they're both really crippled and fighting for control of the galaxy right. and i'm like oh this is going to be brutal 
And so I'm like really psyched for that. Me too. Also, what do you think about the last line of the trailer? Oh, who knows? <laughs> I, like, I almost wonder if it's like, I feel like it's, I don't trust it because, so here's the thing. You think it's deceptive? Yes, I mean, the, because, the movie's called The Last Jedi. Okay, okay. But here's what I'm thinking. Because in The Force Awakens, there's a lot of deception in the first right. trailers. We didn't, we thought Finn was just a, I mean, he was just a stormtrooper, but like we didn't know what his story was. Right. We thought he might possibly be the Jedi or, you know, have the Force within him, right. whatever. I, my, my second watching, I was kind of like, I wonder how relevant what he's saying is, or if it's like going to be one of those lines where it's like, he's just tired of the whole thing. And so he just right. says that, you know what I mean? I, I think, I think it might be that. Cause again, you know, it's just his point of view, right? Exactly. He's been living on an Island like exactly. a hermit for so long. Maybe he does think that nothing good came out of being a Jedi. Um, I would hope not. But does that mean, do we think Ray's the last Jedi then? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's not him. I'm thinking he trains her. Oh, yeah. And then, like, oh. sh- he even sees it as, like, well, you're the last, you know what I mean? Like, you're right. going to no go No more. No more after this. Stop with the Jedi thing. Yeah. Stop Unless training she, Jedi. She does it. Just, just be the last one. Stop all of this and then let it all be over because Jedis just lead to, to messiness, apparently. Yeah. Um, I think, I was actually really surprised at how little was in the trailer. You know. Um, it really wasn't much at all. It was more of a teaser than anything else. Yeah. And I think what's a little different is with The Force Awakens, we got a teaser a year out from the film. And then Celebrations, which is about half a year out, we got a full trailer. Here we are about a half a year out from The Last Jedi, and we're just getting our teaser. So yeah. who knows? Maybe we'll get a f- more complete trailer in a couple of months. I'm trying to think of what movies are coming out that it would be attached to. Uh, maybe one Guardian. of the Marvel films. That's too soon. Or That's too soon. Thor or something. Yeah, maybe Thor. Uh, but I don't mind that. Like... I- I, I think it's very different. Um, no, I don't think so. They're not going to give. They're not going to throw Sony that bone, uh, even if they do have a. Even if they do have a hand in it, I think um, what I really like about this is that you know if you've seen any of other uh, the other Ryan Johnson films, like he's a really interesting filmmaker. Yeah, and so, I love like all of his movies. I'm okay with not knowing as much about this one. Like, yeah. I got really excited out of that entire trailer. My most exciting uh, shot was the very first one. And I didn't even think of it that it you know, might just be a, a, a misdirection or something similar mm-hmm. to the first mm-hmm. one. But the way you see it as a star field and then it comes out to be these rocks. Like, I just feel like he's going to jump into this world of the Force. And he's probably, I am hoping, to pick the Force in a way we've never seen before. And that's right. what I'm most excited about, you right. know, more than space battles and lightsabers and stuff like yeah. that. But So uh, here's a question I'm wondering is, she, wait, was she there? No, oh, yeah, she was. I was going to say, is she going to tell him that Han's dead? Oh, man. And yeah, what I is think that scene going to be like? <clears throat> That'll be really good, That hopefully. Yeah. I, do think, I do think she'll say something. Because... <clears throat> First off, the question's got to come up. She showed up in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, so and it's still, pumped. it's still, it's still doing a thing, as we saw in the trailer. Millennium Falcon not slowing down whatsoever. And wasn't Chewie with? Wasn't Chewie with her? He at was. the end of Force Awakens. Yeah, he so was. He was the one. Who I can't wait to see that there. scene. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um. It's, uh, I'm really, we've talked about the trailer. The trailer's super exciting. I think we'll see more. I think there's not a ton to, to, they're going to be, we're not the type of people I think who are going to frame by frame, pull out all of these details. People will. Maybe um, when the full trailer comes out, I'll do that. Yeah. I know this is going to sound crazy, but like as much as I love the trailer, I think I love that poster more than the trailer. I like, almost I feel agree. Like... I almost agree. That's not crazy at all because the trailer was really just a teaser and it didn't really give us a lot at all. But that right. poster, I mean, he even said he was like, wait till you see it. When everyone was right. like, oh. <laughs> and, was... and you know what I think it is, though, to add to that is, do you feel that this was a little bit different? Because with The Force Awakens, it was like, all right, Star Wars is back. It had been like 
what years and years since uh, Revenge of the Sith. Right. So like there was this moment, and this is the first movie since the '80s with these original characters coming back. So there was this sense of oh my god, this is all happening. Right. And now we've kind of lost that a bit because now yeah. it's just Star Wars. We've had another one last year. We've got another one coming up. Yeah. Um, and so I guess to me the poster stuck out more because um, it wasn't. It was so stylized that it really felt new and unique and didn't just feel like, ah, oh, another, totally it's another Star Wars poster. And it, it didn't try to do too much. There's like only three characters on it, right? Yeah. I'm super excited. Yeah. We could go on and on for hours about this panel and yesterday's panel oh and who knows what we're going to see tomorrow with the video game world and, yeah. you know, park merchandise and, and just Star Wars is I just want to go watch them all. Like, right now. I just want to go watch all <laughs> yeah, these Star Wars films. Yeah, I might have to do that this weekend. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, that's what we thought of the trailer. I mean, I guess if you were expecting to walk out of this with, like, ah, oh, but if you look, uh, Luke Skywalker's right pinky is two degrees to the left, and that indicates <laughs> that Darth Vader's alive. Like, we don't really do that with the trailers. I think this is more just yeah. to appreciate the excitement of something like this coming along. Yeah. And I'm super excited because I'm going to the movies uh, tomorrow and hopefully they'll be playing it in theaters by that point. And we'll get to see it on the big screen. Yeah. Um, Christine, thank you for joining me. Um, anybody watching, let us know. What do you think? What do you think about the trailer, the poster, the whole event? What do you think is going to happen in this movie? Like, what does this mean? Like time to end the Jedi and yeah. he wants the Jedi to end. Like what, how do you do that? Uh, you can let us know in the comments below. Uh, you can let me know on Twitter. I'm at Rob Plays. Uh, Christine, if people want to see more of your content, which includes Disney content, which includes itself Star Wars content, how can they find you? Uh, you can find me on YouTube. My channel is Ivy Winter. And you can tweet me on Twitter, Ivy Winter YT. Now, here's the thing. We skipped last year's with um, Rogue One, but uh -huh. I kind of really want to do this for the Han Solo movie next year. So okay. I feel like we should revisit. We should come back a year from now, next mm -hmm. celebrations, mm -hmm. talk about Han Solo. All right? Yeah. All right, just cool. Just mark it off my calendar. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you. I Well, not next year. we are got to do, like, the whole review of The Last Jedi and yeah. stuff. And it, it's, man, this Disney machine doesn't stop, does it? <laughs> Bye, everybody.